Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Think from Down Under. Well, what's the answer to that? Well, the answer to that is this, the density gradient and this. Nothing's changed apart from the tin has dropped in its position. Game over, globies. <laughs> ah, game over. First of all, there is no picture of the paint primer when there is no sugar in the water. This is also what Ranty said in the beginning, and just keep in mind that this is now wrong, and I doubt that Ranty will actually apologise to anyone for making these statements. In the background, and Miles Davis, who's put all those videos out of Trapane Law, saying that there's a mountain in the distance and it's lower in perspective than it should be and I've, you know, and I've, I've lined myself up at 210 metres and 210 metres to this um, tower in the, in the foreground and then in the background we have this mountain that's lower than it should be. Well, here's your answer on a flat plane, Miles Davis. Here's your answer. Here's every Glober's answer when they turn around and say that this, you can use these type of observations. So, well, that's wrong. It's not the first time you've been wrong, Ranty, and... I uh, thought something was sinking and it was looming instead. Ah, <coughs> oh, yes. You remember this one, Randy? It's not sinking. That one wasn't sinking either. Now, here's the story these days. It's a little bit of an update. Rumpus. Hold on, Rumpus. Okay. You're forgetting. I didn't know what happened until I removed all the water because I didn't take control. And I was quite clear yes, about exactly, that. Yes, exactly, which is another problem. So, yes, exactly. so about when, I, problems, when I removed yeah. all the water out of here and we was able to look across the top, I noticed that this was the, the image that was presented to me, right, basically, which was, the, which was the last set of images that I took with the most sugar solution. So that tells me that the, the, the very first solution that I put in, which was 1.4 kilos and about a, a litre and a quarter of water, boiling water at the top, created this loom. So it changed it from this position right here, right? So it changed it from, sorry, changed it from this position at the bottom which was how it would have been with no sugar solution in, to... So Randy's saying now that it's looming and not sinking. And he's saying that it's because there was warmer, more dense water at the top, which is wrong. We'll, we'll get to that. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... Don't, don't be saying I've got it all wrong. No, actually, this is devastating for you. Not when it all gets explained. Yes, absolutely. Not so, that. all stayed there. This is all filled with sugar, right? Because it's already been absorbed into the boiling water. You poured it in, the water went straight to the top, stayed there, the hot water stayed there. And then when it cooled, the sugar stayed at the top rumpus. It didn't settle to the bottom, it stayed at the top. And then what every single think? time, what hold on. So I've repeated this um, hot sugar water test. So I've got some boiling water on the left and three kilograms of sugar on the right. So we'll pour the uh, water in the... It's not too much water. And um, I'll stir it up until all the sugar's dissolved. So once that's uh, all stirred up and dissolved, I'll, um, I heated it up a little bit more until I got a temperature of 80 degrees. And the tank was 20 degrees, so there's quite a bit of difference there. Now before I poured the hot water in the tank, I took a density measurement at the bottom of the tank and very near the top. So at the bottom of the tank there it's 190.23 and at the top of the tank 190.41 there's a difference of 0.2 and this would be because of the wire that the uh, weight is hanging off so this will make a little bit of a difference and that's probably that 0.2 there so the 
it's just got fresh water in, it'll be constant density all the way through. But I needed to take that measurement as a control, of course. And now I pour the hot water in. I don't know what the correct method of pouring the water in, but this is how I did it. But according to uh, Ranty, the hot water should float to the top. But according to me, the uh, more dense water will go to the bottom, and that's the hot water. So then we'll take our measurements again. We'll take the uh, density measurement. So we'll weigh the weight, 188.62 at the bottom. and we'll stack it up so that the weight gets higher near the top of the water now just I'll adjust the weight there because it's a little bit too close to that wood. You have to wait for it to settle down because it swings a bit. So it's around about one gram heavier in the higher position. So there is a density gradient it's denser at the bottom because the weight was lighter making it a little bit more buoyant so it's denser at the bottom and not so dense at the top so the hot water went to the bottom and this is the opposite of what Ranty's saying Ranty's trying to prove that it doesn't work the way that physics says it does that light bends the opposite way <coughs> to what it really does because this would suit his flat earth purpose but he's going to be very disappointed because um, I've clearly demonstrated that this is not the case and, and if he continues to experiment in this way he should discover it himself but then I suspect he will come up with some crazy explanation like Bob did with the 15 degrees per hour drift they just can't accept that the earth's not flat but anyway we'll carry on I took some temperature measurements at the bottom of the tank and the top of the tank at various places in the tank and we get an approximate three degrees difference so the hot water went to the bottom of the tank so this is by measurement we're not guessing here we're actually measuring we measured the density is greater at the bottom and the temperature is greater at the bottom by about three degrees. So Randy, that busts that one wide open, doesn't it? <laughs> this one needs laughter. <laughs> oh dear. We're actually gonna do it the other way around. So we're gonna actually sprinkle the sugar across the bottom. So what we're gonna get this time is we're gonna get the densest part at the bottom, like so, a gradient from the bottom, and then we're gonna film it, and we should see the opposite. But we were able to get looming rumpus by having the thicker gradient at the top and less at the bottom. So Randy thinks he had the thicker gradient at the top, but I've just shown that that's not the case. And now they're going to try the sugar in the bottom of the tank, which I've already done. And they're expecting uh, to see sinking. And... <laughs> Oh my god, I wonder what the excuse is going to be this time. Because I've done this, and uh, this is my tank, and look at that. Travis says that light's not bending. And now it looks curved to me. What do you guys think? And gals. <laughs> but no, according to Travis, light can't bend like that. <laughs> so I wonder what Randy's going to do. If he does this experiment, if him and Brandon Toy do this experiment properly, this is what they'll get. 
It's going to bust that wide open. What are they going to say? What excuses are they going to make? It'll be good to hear.